Let it go. All the boots are like wool. Thing I go. Oh, she don't want. I see. I see. I see. I got a man to now, girl. Fucking so scared. Yeah, I swear. Yeah, good spot. Hey. Beach is right there. Beach is literally there. Can't drive on it here, but. Yeah, That's know. fine. We can literally plonk our chairs up there in the afternoon and watch the sunset. Sun's that side, so we're going to get shade pretty much all day. Pretty, pretty good. And it's actually quite big compared to um, some of the sites. So there is actually a smaller one next to us. Still okay, but it's a little bit smaller. But yeah, we've got a really good site. And we can walk up here and watch the sunset at night time. Oh, sick. And there's still probably about uh, 20 sites, I'd say, left. So oh, this is going to be wicked. Chill out here. Do absolutely bugger all actually no we're gonna go look at the wicked um caves but otherwise do bugger all <laughs> all righty good morning everyone uh, first morning here at sandy cape uh, we're gonna start the day off right not the healthiest, but it's right. Yeah. Just some uh, sausage and egg wraps for brekkie uh, this morning. Kids are just going to have, what are you having? Bunning sausages. Yeah. Sausage and bread. Um, so today we're going to head out to, uh-oh. Where are we going? Uh, she's in her pyjamas. Uh, Stockyard Gully Caves. It's meant to be pretty cool. Uh, you're meant to be able to walk pretty far. It's dark. We've got our head torches. Um, so we'll see what that's all about. Uh, when we get back, it's just going to be out the front here and straight back onto the beach, I think, for an Arvo swim. Hopefully a good sunset tonight. Yeah. Sorry, I'll cover my I'm in my pyjamas. Watch out, yeah, she's still in her pyjamas. Um, yeah, we, we didn't have the best um, sunset last night because it was a bit no. cloudy. So hopefully we can put our chairs up there tonight, tonight and, and see watch the sunset. wicked sunset. So. Yeah, because we've got a prime spot here. Uh, I'll show you the hill. There's a hill right here. Over the other side is the beach. So on top of that hill, if the clouds permit, you get an awesome sunset. So fingers crossed that happens today. Yeah, so that's pretty much us for the day and we'll see you at the caves. Right, we have arrived at the Stockyard Gully Caves and I think there's two- Sorry, everyone. Did you lock the car? Yes. Uh, on you go. It's me you're talking to here. Yeah, I no, lock no. things like 10 times. Oh, <laughs> Um, anyway, we were the only ones in the car park. There are two entrances though, so we might be the only ones in here, which is cool. Uh, it's only a th 30, 300 meter walk to the um, cave. So, brilliant. We've put our water shoes on because we have, um, we've read there's a bit of a stream going through, but oh, that actually looks pretty dry, if that's what that is. We've brought our torches and um, we're ready to see it. We're very excited. This is cool. Love a cave. Woo! There you are. You remember all those, Parker, when we were in um, South poo Australia? They had pooed on my shoes, remember? The beach and it nearly bites <laughs> Oh, Parker, try. See you later, mate. <laughs> so there's definitely not a stream. So this is. This is supposed to be all a stream, so it's very dried out. I reckon this looks like a cave entrance. That has just got so much colder. Whoa. Check out those, there is a swarm of them. Wait there, babe. Why is it cold when we're in the sun? Because, it, because, because the cave is so cold. They can come in. That one there is massive. Is it honeycomb? Is that what that's called? Honeycomb, yeah, probably. Honey I don't know. I'm not a bee connoisseur. Yeah, I don't know much about bees. <laughs> I know what they look like. Alrighty. All right, who's got their head torches on? Not me. Wow, that is so cold. Oh, it's so quiet and cold. <laughs> it's a, oh, do you see the bats? No, obviously not. Yeah. Be quiet, okay, it? sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, look how dark it is. Oh, I tell you what, I love caves. I get such a thrill out of them, but I get so scared. 
<laughs> All right, let's go. Ooh, freaky. <laughs> it is freaky. <laughs> wow. There's nothing in here, it's just sand. Yes, well, it's, it's all, yeah, it's all sand-based. God, this is dark, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> Babe, this is like when we went at the Majora Caves. And I literally, I was so scared, seriously so okay. scared with Parker. Because oh, yeah. it's just so dark and you can just imagine someone's popping out from behind that. Um, 300 <laughs> metres, I think. How much? 300 metres. <laughs> I know. It's a long way. Oh. Do you love caves, Parker? Yeah. <laughs> what the? What is that? I don't know. Oh my god! It looks like a yeah, it is. It's just paint. Oh my god! This is like a horror movie. Oh my god! Do you know what's going to be worse? What? Walking out of this and thinking someone's running after you. Yeah. <laughs> That's scary. I'm already scared myself. I can't see any sort of, other than the bats. It's just a water thing. I can't. Yeah. It does say when um when it's um raining and stuff to uh, be careful with flash flooding and um, quicksand. <laughs> but it's not raining, so <laughs> that's that's well, yeah. all good. It's good. Oh, yeah. there, there you go. Brilliant. There's a few rocks that you have right, to climb to over in. to get in. The southern entrance is definitely the easiest way. There's nothing crazy to see inside, but it's just very exciting to be able to go into a cave all by yourself. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. So those rocks there are the ones you have to climb over to get in here. Brilliant. Yeah, hi darling. No, let's, go milk. Mm. let's go get a milkies. Come on. <laughs> Fred, Freddie's new word is ma, which means milk. Freddie, it's okay. Yeah, Freddie, let's go. Brilliant. Is that a bit scary, darling? Yeah. Hey? A bit scary. It's okay. Let's go back and get your milk. And ma. Yeah, that's a cool little quick cave. We all know we love caves. <laughs> Probably even a better experience when you're the only ones doing it as well. Because you get that complete silence and darkness, which, although it scares me, it's pretty cool. All right. It is sunset time and we have got a wicked sunset going to happen today. There is no clouds. Oh, we're so excited. We've got a uh, cool little setup happening here. As you can see, it is really, really full here today. When we came back from the caves at like 10 a.m., there was hardly any spot. So going off what this weekend is, whether it's normal or not, try and get here on a weekday because yesterday there was plenty of spots and today they were nearly all gone by 10, 11 o'clock, which is crazy and it's nothing special about this weekend, it's just a normal weekend, so. But yeah, there's a lot of spots all along here, loads there. We actually went for a little drive along there today uh, to the North Point and it looks sick, but probably not good enough that we could send the caravan down because it looks quite tight um, and the sand was quite soft so we didn't want to risk that <laughs> but it looks like a really cool area um, but yeah we're going to enjoy the sunset and a wicked little platter but that is not a bad way to finish the end of a day is it really pretty bloody good yeah. Woop
everybody check this out today. Wow. CJ and the kids have just gone for a little swim over there. But um, what a way to wake up. I'm staying behind because Freddie's asleep. So someone's going to look after him. But um, how sick is that? It just looks unreal. But um, we're going to head off in this morning um, and look at some World War II bunkers, I think they are. So I think it's only about 6Ks away, but it's all forward driving. <laughs> so I don't know how long that's going to take us. It will be cool to look at. And um, I reckon this afternoon I'm going to be chilling in there because that looks absolutely unreal. But it looks really good over there. It's got all the sand dunes and everything, so the kids would actually froth on that. But just look at this. This is absolutely unreal. Gosh, we're lucky, aren't we? Traveller's life is not so bad, is it? <laughs> oh, we can see the bunkers in the distance. And... Um, it's a maze. It's a, little, it's a little bit of a maze. So, um, yeah, we don't quite know which way to go, which is a bit annoying. We're just going to have to try each way, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, I think we'll go back here and we turn left. It's saying they're over there, but we can see them in the distance, which is weird. Yeah. There's not many car tracks over here. It's a bit rocky as well, so um, we've let the tyres down. Oh, hello. Just out of um, comfortable. No, I'm glad we're here because it's soft. Yeah, it is quite soft. This is wild. Yeah, this is <laughs> wow. I think you've really got to want to go see these bunkers because it's. I just. There's a. Yeah. It's not, there's no clear signage, there's nothing. They did say that on Wiki Camps. So. Yeah, and. Um, the sand tracks are a bit wild. Like I am sideways right now. <laughs> Check out that crazy part of the cliff edge that's like fallen off. Wow, look at this little pocket here. Oh, I feel like I want to go swimming afterwards. Oh, I didn't bring my swimmers. Oh, Leah. Oh yeah, look. Just a little window. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> that scared me as well. I'll show you what I was scared about. <laughs> Do you want to just stay there? Or you want to come in? Wow. So obviously, people come here and use it as a camping spot and don't clean up after themselves, which is. Not great. I can't believe this is a bunker that was used in the World War II. Telling Quinny and Parker this morning a bit of the story of the World War II and stuff, but so they had a bit more understanding French about onion. what this is all about. French onion. Hey? French onion packet. <laughs> French onion dip. These bunkers here, they used to house radio operators for the World War II. So, yeah, so. Someone used to stay in here, Quinny, and they were sheltered in this crazy shelter here. Wow, it's pretty cool. And this is the culprit that scared Mummy and Quinny. <laughs> All right, we've walked through quite uh, snaky looking bushes to come to the next one. This actually looks a lot more cleaner. Oh, this is, oh, this is way better. There you go. Oh, this is way better. It's just brilliant. Oh, look how thick this door is. Oh, <laughs> wow. It won't go away. I've got that feeling rushing through my body. I know that it is here to stay. It's like you're my personal Illuminati. I know that some might say that I am just a bad girl, but if you treat me right, I will be the best girl in this whole world. No, I'm not gonna fight. I got my hands on your body. WA, I tell you what, the whole time we were traveling around, everyone was like, oh, wait till you go to WA, it's amazing. And I'm like, oh. I don't know, all these people, all these places we're seeing at the moment are pretty damn cool. WA just 
hits the spot. Every time we stop somewhere at the beach or whatever, the colours are just absolutely unreal. Oh, it's amazing. If you haven't yet, guys, make sure you like and more importantly, subscribe to our channel. We're just an ordinary family that is just videoing our journey around Australia, just literally for our memories when we grow up. But if you want to come along and watch us and watch where we're going, we put out videos every single week. So make sure you press the subscribe button so you get notified. And it's free. <laughs> so the whole way along and um, the whole way here through all the um, like sandy roads, I reckon this is our third one we've seen now. So it's some kind of outline of a building. It's gotta be, it's gotta be something to do with that. Yeah, well, you're not, you're not on me. Oh, yeah, I am. <laughs> and there you are. And your booby. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, surely it's something. You're right there. Oh. Kind of reminds me of um, Mary Kathleen. Remember we went yeah, there with all the ghost town sort of I stuff? Saying, no. Saying. That was brilliant. <laughs> oh <coughs> smell that! Oh. <laughs> that smells like rotten eggs. Oh. <laughs> So had a little uh, intruder last night. Who do you reckon came along? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I said a, fox. a fox. Yeah. So um, we did read that the foxes could be here, and um, we've seen a few footprints without human footprints next to them. So we kind of thought something was there. But um, Quinn's thongs were here last night, and they've one of them's ended up over there. So we think he's had a little bit of a nibble and fox, kind of fox left it there. Dingo. Fox or a dingo? I'm gonna go one of them. fox. Yeah, who knows? So um, yeah, make sure you pick up all your rubbish and everything because um, they're obviously after food. But anyway, we're going to go to the beach today. Hopefully we get a really good spot or any spot. It's fine. No one there yet. So oh, really? Let's go. Oh, you got me up for early. No, there'll be people there in like 10 minutes. As soon as the sun's up What yesterday. time is it? 7.10? Oh, that's not that early. No. <laughs> it's yesterday, once the sun was up, there was just, it's mainly the boats. Yeah. They launched their boats there and the trailers. Let's hope everyone's hung over till about 8. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Check out that. How bloody gorgeous is that? Yeah, I can see why this place is really, really popular. Um, being only twenty dollars a night per site oh for two adults and two kids and then we didn't have to pay for freddy because it was um three and up but yeah it's um it's amazing so there's um there's flushable toilets here there is an outdoor shower but it's not working at the moment um and there's a dump point and bins so there is non-potable water too in tanks oh yeah non-potable water <laughs> but um tanks are right because you can put one as your shower water but yeah true bad. Yeah, we, we do not. We just got one filler. Our, our tanks join. Join, um, but um, yeah, the only downfall I would say probably is that the sites are quite close together. So, um, but for twenty dollars a night, I am not complaining.
Alrighty, so that's us done for this episode anyway. Done to Cape. What amazing spots. There's going to be a lot of these beach camps oh. over the next, what, four months? Yeah, because we're heading north and it only yeah, gets better up north, be we've lot. heard. <laughs> so make sure you like and subscribe, guys, and we'll see you next week. See ya. Bye. Look at that. Yeah. Oh. oh no I didn't know what I was doing wrong all the things I'd going on oh